Where are you going? So how did we end up from this to this? And how the hell did we end up with this and this? Screw you, man. I mean, riding in the rain and snow was definitely challenging. But abandoning a motorcycle and triple riding on the unreliable motorcycle along the bumpy roads in the Himalayas? Now, that was something else. Well, here's part 3 and a final episode in Mustang, Nepal. So we have to fly in between three hills, three mountains, like that. Yeah, I don't know how old it is, but he found this in the cave, huh? So we just bike, parked up bikes here in Kalkbeni because it looks like it's starting to rain quite a bit. Deciding whether to stay here the night or not. So this is Kalkbeni. And then there's this little hotel here. Might get some food here. Maybe we'll stay here for the night. We're not too sure. So let's check it out. So this is the view I want to show you all. Bro, look at that. Wow. Holy smokes. Look at the little valley there. Where the river is running its course. And then of course the gorge right here. Steep mountains. Steep mountains, holy moly. And then, uh, let's see if I can zoom in there, but there's some caves. Oh, you can't zoom in, dang it. But you, you guys see the caves there? Behind, there's a sign that says Kogbeni and right below that, there are caves. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, I think our food is here. This stuff I was talking about is made of buckwheat. And then we have some curry, cauliflower, some pickles, papa, and this is yak meat. Yak meat! And some dal. Let's give it a little taste first. So I think you take this like that, right? And then you mix it with the vegetables. I'm gonna try it with the yak meat. There we go. Mmm. It's gamey. Yak meat is really gamey. Mmm. Even more than buffalo. And it's really fatty. The taste. Man, it's chewy too. Mmm. Alright, y'all. Yeah. I think I'm gonna finish my meal. It's in a bit. And then something really cool happened. While we were eating a lunch, the owner of the establishment began to tell us about the caves, about how he thinks his ancestors might have lived in it. He theorized this because he found some pottery one day while he was exploring the caves. Oh, he's gonna show me what he found. <laughs> okay, okay. The uncle give restaurant hotel, ra. Let's go check it out. Oh. Wow. Wow, he found this in the cave. Write down in the comments below if you think it's older or newer. Wow. Oh, Yeah. Anyways, it was really enjoyable here. So we're on our way. It's only four hours, so I think we'll make it. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain. Everyone's saying it won't rain. It's pretty dry up there. The weather changes from hill to hill, so. It's pretty crazy. She's just gonna take some good footage on the way, so we'll show you some footage on the way. See you guys in Upper Mustang. And though it felt like we should have stayed the night, we rode on through with our goal in sight. For the rain had paved way for a clearer sky, and things began to look just fine. A few hiccups here and there, Yep, that happened. <coughs> Let's be honest, a few hiccups everywhere. But a few hiccups couldn't stop us then, and only a broken bike could stop us now.
prophecy unfolded like the valleys below us. The mountains stood tall, the clouds, they ignored us. The roads unforgiving, but even that couldn't stop us. Only a broken bike stood before us. So right when we're about to enter Upper Mustang, two things happened. First, we were stopped by this police officer who gave us a bit of a trouble. He didn't let us through for about an hour or so. And when he finally did, the bike stopped working. And this time it wouldn't start at all. <laughs> Thank you. Come out this way. So we did what any sensible person would do and abandoned the bike at the side of the road. So now we gotta figure out a way to go back to Jomsom. And um, I think Chopak's asking the truck driver there if he can give us a lift. But as fate would have it, the truck was not headed in the same direction as we were. This also meant that we abandoned all plans to go to Upper Mustang. This also meant that all three of us had to ride on the same bike. But because our plans to ride to Upper Mustang was abandoned, this didn't mean our journey was over. We were told of this lake that was near Jomsom where we were headed. We just had to beat the sunset. So on our way back to Jomsom, we came across some monks from a local monastery playing football. So we did the right thing and joined them. And with the sun setting against the evening sky, it was time to say farewell to the monks and head on back to Jomsom. But that is without to say we had a few other mishaps along the way. In our bid to make the third seat as comfortable as possible, we fashioned a cushion out of an Adidas pant. Unbeknownst to us, the pant got untied and tied up the wheel. <laughs> So, I think um, the plan to go to Upper Mustang has been cancelled, abandoned, just like our bike has been abandoned somewhere in the middle of the road. I don't know what we're going to do about it, we'll figure it out tomorrow. So we barely made it to this place, this lake. It has a nice little reflection of the mountains and stuff. But, uh, look at the mountains. I think we're going to go back to Jumsum now and drink some local alcohol, take some cards and enjoy. Well, about the bike, I think we're planning to... <laughs> Ready for so this is our improvisation of a third seat. This plastic underneath, so I put a pants and an underwear on top, and that's been our cushion. <laughs> right, y'all. We're ending the night with some tongba, which is some local alcohol made out of millet. Let me see if I can show it to you. Well, you can't really see it, but it's okay. So what it is, it's made out of millet. And then you drink it, and then 
Once the hot water is gone, you just add more hot water and it keeps getting more diluted. But you keep getting more drunk, so that's the whole point. And it's perfect for this weather. The, the thing is, although our day was like full of mis, mishaps and unfortunate events, even then everything worked out in the end. So here we are in front of a bonfire looking at stars, drinking some tongba. Perfect night. And then tomorrow we're gonna go back to Pokhara, take the plane, so it's gonna have some really scenic views. So I'm pretty excited about that tip. I think we're gonna end the vlog here, so. Well, Mustang was an amazing adventure. And I thank you all for following me on my journey here with my friends. And here's a little bonus snippet of what's yet to come. So we have to climb between three hills, three mountains, like that. And the flight takes off. No man, wait to do that. Good old fade out. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was like, what is he trying to do? <laughs>